Hello, Humboldt County. Hasn't this been a crazy year, year and a half? I hope you've all been staying safe and well, and that perhaps you've been taking flight by reading books. I certainly have. Um, and I can recommend actually Anthony, Anthony Horowitz's um, Alex Writer series. If you're not familiar with it, it's sort of a take on James Bond for those of you who like adventure and action and uh, a lot of gadgetry. Um, the Alex Ryder series provides all of that. I think there are something like 12 books in that series. And through that series, I've been able to travel to London, to Paris, to Venice, uh, to the French Alps. I've just been all over with Alex Ryder, reading about his adventures. He's sort of a, a spy and um, he gets and he's, you know, a teenager. Uh, he gets tapped into serving his country, uh, Great Britain, uh, by, by MI6. And so he's really off on a lot of adventures. I think if you like adventure type stories with a lot of uh, travel, a lot of gadgetry, as I said, um, I think you'll enjoy the Alex Ryder series. On the other avenue, um, those books for grown-ups that I've read. I've read Jane Crow, The Life of Polly Murray, which I found fascinating. Um, I'm currently reading The Man Who Ate Too Much. <laughs> kind of sounds familiar. Um, the Man Who Ate Too Much is a, is a biography of James Beard, who during my youth was um, a renowned chef. And basically he was self-taught. So um, I've enjoyed reading that. And I also read the Harry Bosch series then there by Michael Connolly. And I don't know how many books there are in this series, but I've read about four or five of them now um, and just really have enjoyed those. And they're, they're kind of true crime stories. So uh, if you, um, a few of the grown-ups out there like true crime, that's something that you might want to tap into also. Um, but again, I can't, can't recommend enough the Alex Ryder series because I think they're absolutely outstanding. And I know I've turned a number of my young friends in the neighborhood onto them. Um, the thing that I miss most about visiting Humboldt County, since I'm here in Tucson, Arizona, where it's currently 100 degrees outside, um, I miss the smell of the ocean. I miss the cool breezes. I miss the friends that I've made over the many, many years that I've been coming up there. And of course, I miss meeting all of you. Um, but soon we'll be back to normal, I hope, and uh, I'll be able to visit you up there. But I have not been idle. I have been, besides reading books and taking flight with books, I have been um, working on some revisions. These were books that were already turned into my publisher and were ready, getting ready for publication. And one of those books has already been published. It's called Finding a Way Home. And it's the story of um, Richard and Mildred Loving and the connection to equal rights in marriage. So this is a book for teenagers, for, for middle school on up, and um, it's come out to good reviews. I can't recall exactly what month it was released in, but it's been sitting on my desk now for a couple of months. I also uh, will have a book out in September, I believe, and I don't have a copy of the book yet, but they did send me a cover so I could share it with you, and it's called Without Separation, and it's a San Diego story where I used to live. And it's about Roberto Alvarez and the Lemon Grove incident where the school decided that Mexican-American and Mexican children should go to um, a special school instead of being integrated in a school with white students. So it's about that story. And as I said, it will be out in uh, September. And because you all know that I love fiction, um, I will have a three book series out in 2022, about the time of the next festival. And 
The first book in that series is called Racing Ace, Drive It, Fix It. And it's about a, a young girl who um, basically is unstoppable. There is nothing she cannot do. And she's willing to stop. She's, she's willing to try just about anything. She loves speed. She loves to race. And so these are the there will be three books and they will be out um, in 2022. And if you wonder who has been making the noise, I've also been keeping busy with a new family friend <laughs> and his name is Mr. I'll see if I can get him to look into the camera. There he is. Um, and Mr. is a schnauzer. He's now seven months old and he's a handful. He's been keeping me really busy. I got him in December and I've been working on training him, uh, but he's been winning that, that battle, let me tell you. Um, I think he's actually training me. At any rate, um, I've enjoyed visiting with you and I look forward to my next visit to Humboldt County and to visiting you in schools. See you then.